Mm-hmm. But uh, let's take it over to the uh, nonprofit side of things a little bit. So tell me a little bit about the uh, Saco Bay Center for Civic Engagement and how did, how did you come to start that? It's really interesting. Well, it was sort of um, out of frustration and based on a need in, I saw in the community. I saw that there was so many different nonprofits in the area and they had their own sort of sphere. Right, they had their own little shtick that they did every year. They always did, uh, let's say, Rotary does the TV auction, right? Saco Spirit now, Saco Main Street. They just renamed. They do the Saco Pumpkin Fest, Heart of Biddeford. Uh, they do maybe do the Winter Fest. You yeah. know, each had a distinct flavor, right? But if you were somebody who had a creative idea for a solution in the community, and it could be event oriented, it could be a civic project, it could be a cleanup project, whatever it may be. It's hard to identify one specific nonprofit in Saco, Bitterford, and Old Orchard Beach that you can go to that doesn't matter if you're a member or not member, you're paying or not paying, what the mission of that particular nonprofit is to go and actually have an incubator space for civic engagement projects. Mm-hmm. Right? We have created over the last two years now uh, a space that's housed at the Bitterford Saco Chamber of Commerce. At their, out of their Welcome Center. And we're still building on what that actually is going to entail, but we're really excited about where that's going to be headed, where we bring on individuals on our board and our advisory board who, who have an idea, right? They usually come to me anyway. And they're like, Justin, I really want to do X, Y, Z, right? Saco Bikes for Kids, for instance, was a campaign. It wasn't tied to really any nonprofit. It was sort of like born out of this, you know, need for bikes at Saco Parks and Rec. So we got... Eastern Trail Alliance, we got the you know Bike Maine, we got you know uh, City of Saco, the Parks and Rec all together, and did a campaign, you know, and it, it was a short term campaign. It was done right, and we're able to do those types of projects under an umbrella mm-hmm. over, over a five hundred one c three, so people can donate to the nonprofit and and goes towards specific projects like that, that sort of development, and it's so fun to see all the creativity in our community. Mm-hmm. And to have one central location that brings Saco, Bitterford, and Older to Beach together in a positive way, where people feel empowered to volunteer, I mean, that's a win-win for everybody. Whether mm-hmm. you're a business owner wanting to get more involved and engaged in the community, maybe the business wants to get their volunteers to help out at the soup kitchen. Let's do it, right? Uh, let's not wait. Let's do it right now. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and so I'm a part of a lot of different groups, but to me... Out of, in my whole life, I'm most proud of, of, of my baby, and my baby is the Saco Bay Center, because I love it. Mm-hmm. I love it when I see you know, the, the student space when we hand them a check for a scholarship we just raised money for. We just did the seagull, uh, seagull scavenger hunt in Old Orchard Beach, where we sent people into the businesses. And this is the great partnership between business and civics that really has a great marriage. Businesses sponsored the event. We send biz- uh, we send people to the businesses on the scavenger hunt where they provide a business card or a coaster or some item that they have to find and discover. There's clues and riddles along the way. Mm-hmm. They have to take pictures, so you interact with technology, and you have a- it's basically a race, right? And then we hand out prizes based on the businesses that were participating. Huge. We raised like uh, almost nine hundred dollars for scholarships for Old Orchard Beach High School. And it may not seem like a lot of money, but for a small nonprofit, that's mm, a lot. Yeah, and, right. and, and, and the businesses, businesses came back too. to us. Yeah. Of course, they were like, oh my gosh, we need to do this again. Mm-hmm. Because it's people that maybe didn't necessarily venture downtown that much. And then they said, I didn't even know that. That business existed. Mm-hmm. That's what I love to hear. Because it's creative solutions like that where you're getting people involved. It's for a good cause. You're raising money for scholarships for students to attend college because college is so outrageous. Mm-hmm. And then businesses have an added benefit of that too and we work with the Older Tribute Beach Chamber who's going through a whole uh, you know re-imaging and re sort of uh, reinvigorating sort of movement I'm really excited about what they're trying to do as well with the new executive director and so I, I love the Saco Bay Center it has a long name I know it's hard to remember but um, it, it's one of those things where now our partnership with the Bitterford Saco Chamber of Commerce mm-hmm. is really going to be effective where we're marrying the, the business community and the civics and my ultimate goal is to have basically a volunteer kiosk where people can go to the Welcome Center, and they can volunteer for any nonprofit that's in the area, and we can connect them to that. Where it doesn't matter if there's somebody helping mm-hmm. them or not, you can either flip through a book if you don't like technology, and you can say, I want to have a volunteer application for XYZ nonprofit. You should be able to do that there. You should be able to go on an iPad on a little station that says, I want to sign up for an email list and get an email blast every time there's a volunteer project. It's things like that that 
are so exciting and we have so much potential and create that incubator space. So so my nonprofit stuff is really exciting and it's something I just do for free because I love it and, and people have, have really taken to it. We have such a fantastic board of directors who's so committed to it in their own right. I mean, you always ask a busy person to get involved because they're going to do something, mm-hmm. right? And we, we just now launched a new thing where we're bringing more on an extended advisory board because there's so much interest now that I'm having to put people in places and that we're creating an advisory board which is an expanded uh, group to do more projects and to, to go into different places uh, like our Support Our Heroes Committee which helps uh, veterans. We're trying to kind of grow that, get some local veterans in the area to be a part of this committee. Uh, we did for the past two years the Vietnam Heroes Day of Honor event. This The, the one that we did, not this year, we, we kind of skipped this year, but last year we did it. It was a moving experience. We had veterans literally crying because they they. They found a, a colleague, a comrade, who saved their life on the battlefield and never knew hmm. where they were. And and to see those types of experiences where, again, who do you go to for, to organize an event like that? So I had a constituent that came to me and said, I want to do something like this. What can we do? All right, well, I have a nonprofit to do that. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and that's where it doesn't necessarily take a governmental solution or a private sector. It can be something where it's cultivated through the community, grassroots. It's so exciting what people can come up with when they feel empowered and have a seat at the table. 